viewer of mine who lives on the scenic western end of the island of Maui wanted to know if the old volcano which comprises the entire western half of the island, aka the West Maui volcano, could ever erupt again. Just by looking at its highly eroded and rugged appearance with stunning 4,000 foot sheer cliffs, you might initially suspect that this volcano is long extinct. Otherwise, this section of the island would have a fairly uniform gentle slope with no super deep ravines. Adding to this is the fact that the West Maui volcano has not erupted for a whopping 390,000 years. Since volcanoes which have not erupted in more than 50,000 years are accepted as being extinct, you might think that the same applies to the West Maui volcano. And yet, there is actually a legitimate chance that the West Maui volcano could one day erupt again, even technically in the next century, with a reason for this being truly fascinating. So, should everyone who lives in Western Maui, including those who live in Lahaina, buy volcano insurance for their homes? Not exactly. The risk of a volcanic eruption occurring does exist, but it is incredibly low, with the odds being perhaps only 1 in 200,000 each year. The reason for this is that Hawaiian shield volcanoes do not follow a traditional cycle of activity where the eruptive rate is essentially a perfect bell curve, which, once you get to the far end of, no further activity will occur. These traditional eruptive lifespans for a volcano generally last no more than 600,000 years. In contrast, Hawaiian shield volcanoes have a more complex cycle which causes their eruptive rates over time to be a bit more convoluted. The point of importance in this chart is a tiny blip which occurs at the end of a volcano's lifespan which is known as rejuvenation stage volcanism. Rejuvenated volcanism is fairly insignificant in terms of volume, but is quite unusual as it generally occurs half a million to a million years after a volcano has seemingly ceased erupting. For example, here is a timeline of volcanic activity at Hawaii's truly extinct East Molokai volcano. Its first stage of volcanism involved its so-called shield stage where the vast majority of the volcano was built out of basaltic lava via a high rate of eruptions between 2 million and 1.52 million years ago. Then, activity began to slowly wane while at the same time involving bursts of eruptions that contained more alkali-rich lavas which often formed cinder cones and even sometimes lava domes. These lavas were not truly basaltic, but had a composition of trachybasalt, basaltic tracheandesite, or trachyte. This period lasted from 1.52 to 1.31 million years ago until eruptive activity ceased altogether. Then, across the next 740,000 years, what was originally an 11,000 foot tall shield volcano withered away to a height of only 5,000 feet. But because there was now less mass pushing down and bending the underlying lithosphere, a rebound began which slowly pushed the island upwards. As the island was uplifted, previously solid portions of the deep crust melted due to the suddenly reduced pressure feeding infrequent and low volume rejuvenation stage volcanic eruptions. These occurred between 570,000 and 340,000 years ago and placing alkali-rich basalt. In the context of the aforementioned Hawaiian shield volcano stages, the West Maui volcano is today believed to still be in its rejuvenation stage of volcanism. Since the same factors which led to the rejuvenation stages initiation on West Maui still exist, there is no reason to believe that it isn't still in such a phase. Also, during known eruptions of this rejuvenation stage on West Maui, eruptions have occurred up to 190,000 years apart. Since it has only been 390,000 years since the last eruption, I cannot truly state that this volcano is not simply undergoing an unusually long and active phase. It could, if the logic is correct, one day in the future erupt again, producing a cinder cone forming eruption with lava fountains that eject basinite lava. With all of this being said, while perhaps being paradoxical, I would still classify the West Maui volcano as extinct, for now at least.